question I get all the time, probably two or three times a week at least, should I take my 30-year mortgage and refinance into a 15-year mortgage? And the answer is probably going to be no, and I'll tell you why. Because there's this thing called the effective rate of interest. And I'm just going to give you an example to make it simple. If you buy a $100,000 house today and 5% interest, 30-year mortgage, at the end of the 30 years, you're going to pay approximately $195,000 for that house, including interest. However, if you win the lottery today at the same time you buy the house, tomorrow you're going to write a check for $100,000. Effectively, you've paid 0% interest on that. And that's a direct relationship. So if you pay extra on your mortgage every month to the tune of you haven't paid off in 15 years, your effective rate of interest is going to go probably, and without doing the math, just below 4% on that 15 year. It's a, it, the effective interest rate you're always going to pay the 5% on the outstanding principal balance, but at the end of that term, when it's paid off, you'll effectively pay a much lower rate interest. I tell people all the time to not, not do it. Stay on the 30 year, pay extra, save themselves three or $4,000 worth of closing costs. You don't always need to refinance to, to get that lower rate. Hi, this is William Lowen. I go by Will, one of the partners at First Trust Financial. If you have any further questions or you'd like more research on any of the topics we've discussed, go to my website, www.yourfirsttrust.com. Lots of blogs, other videos, things like that. You're always welcome to call me, 816-363-3105.